克兰战争入侵之后，整个。乌克兰的民众逃出了乌克兰之后，他们其实去到了波兰也好，去到了旁边的邻近国家也好，那些地方其实相当的贫穷。那么最近有将近统计八十七万的难民回到了乌克兰的家园，因为他们知道整个战争呢大概就会集中在乌东，或许他们比美国看清楚。普丁是什么样的人，也了解乌克兰的历史，因为乌克兰本身就是一个分裂的一个国度，在它的乌东地区有很多俄罗斯后裔的人，而那个地方基本上在战争如果集中在当地当地的话，他们在基辅，尤其是靠近利夫这一带、靠近波兰这一带，基本上是比较安全的。所以有八十七万的难民，他们回去了自己的国家，当然回到之后，他们的家园很多已经并不相同了。而在这个过程当中，有些非常勇敢的乌克兰的铁路工人，让乌克兰在战争战斗当中继续的运转，不管是运输他的粮食、运输他的水，或是让难民出去，或是让难民回家。When Russia invaded Ukraine, Ivan was on duty, traveling his regular route. For more than ten years, the train conductor served passengers between Zaporizhia in the southeast and Lviv in the west. A 15-hour journey. But on February 24, life changed forever. As dawn broke, news of the invasion broke too. A woman started to cry and said, Have you heard anything? I said no. She said they're bombing Dnipro. I didn't believe it. I started to check Facebook to check the news. And it turned out that there was bombing all around Ukraine. We arrived late to Zaporizhia and we were told the evacuations would start. Since then, they haven't stopped. And neither has Ivan, who's worked every day and every night. Now he lives on the train too. Russian troops have occupied his town. Those first days were the hardest. The train was already full in Zaporizhia. When we arrived in Dnipro, the platform was packed, so many people, and chaos started. Women, children, there were so many in the carriage, at least 100 to 150 people. In Ivan's train, there was a hope of and a hope of being alive. 数百万乌克兰人搭上他逃离，而留守在这里的也仰赖这一列列火车运送他们所需的救援物资。铁路是乌克兰最主要的交通运输方式，全国百分之五十二的货物运输都仰赖铁路。可以说，少了这两万两千三百多公里的铁路网，乌克兰根本打不了这场仗。也因此，乌克兰铁路局二十三万名员工尽忠职守，维护这条交通大动脉。Railway men do all the job ourselves, and、uh, the easiest bridge takes us a week. The hardest one so far takes us a month. We start repairing the tracks once the shelling is over, and in few hours we are ready to go on to move on. And you know, that costs us. We lost 94 people from railway men, and 99 are injured. That's really the highest price we paid for this war. Ukrainians are fleeing the horrors of the war in the east, rushing to evacuate ahead of an expected Russian onslaught. Ten humanitarian corridors opening up today. These families saying goodbye to loved ones, loading into buses. With Russian forces repositioning in the east, Ukrainian officials are now expecting another wave of refugees. So what is that doing? What? Поворачивайся. Снимала я просто, когда что-то происходило. Все ж родственникам, что у нас все как бы там снесло, все двери железные, все, все, все. Поэтому это надо было снять. 在俄军猛烈的炮火攻势下，艾莲娜一家决定离开马里乌波尔。
。从二月二十四日战事爆发至今，已经有超过四百七十三万乌克兰人逃往欧洲，其中逾两百六十九万选择留在波兰，也有人一路向西。二零一五年接受过百万叙利亚难民的德国人，这次再次给予乌克兰人温暖，包括百姓、饭店业者都无偿提供房间作为他们暂时的落脚处。This is our apartment now. The two sisters are from the city of Mykolaiv in southern Ukraine. Nasrin is a dancer. Messi teaches English and French. 根据德国联邦及各州政府达成的协议，从今年六月起，所有在德国的乌克兰难民都可以自动获得避难身份，领取最低保障金，享受更为优质的医疗保险服务，求职也更便利。而一旦获得正式避难身份，难民们的社保待遇就将和普通德国人持平。We don't know exactly exactly now what we should do, but we are waiting for registration, and we hear that German government said we will accept for three years, not as a refugee, as an immigrant,、uh, for three years, and we are waiting for they will tell us where which place we should go for register, and they said we we will give you a place to live and. Little by little, from zero, actually, we should start life. 为了实现今年六月自动给予乌克兰难民正式避难身份的目标，德国联邦财政本年度将为各地方市县提供五亿欧元的支持。此外，还将为幼儿园、中小学提供额外的十亿欧元，用于开展乌克兰难民学生的融入工作。当欧洲发扬人道主义精神。Just three miles from the U.S. border in Tijuana, Mexico, nearly 3,000 Ukrainians will spend the night here, sleeping on mats on the floor of what used to be a sports complex, in hopes that tomorrow they'll get the chance to cross into the U.S. We want to begin a new life in America. The more show up, the longer they wait. Some waiting up to four days to cross. Enrique Lucero, Tijuana's director of migrant protection, says 400 to 600 Ukrainians arrive to the city every day. That's up from about 40 daily when the war began in February. 美国总统拜登三月二十四号宣布，愿意接收十万名乌克兰难民，但根据官方的统计数据，整个三月只有十二名乌克兰人通过难民计划进入美国，绝大多数人受困在美墨边境，等待签证。Por la manera diferente que que migran a esta garita, como Centroamérica y aquí o los mismos mexicanos, ¿no? Que llegan en autobús o hasta en caravana. In an effort to get to the U.S. faster, Lucero says Ukrainians travel by plane here, often stopping in multiple countries before arriving in Mexico as tourists. It's a trip that can cost three thousand U.S. dollars. Not to mention the U.S. border is still officially closed to asylum seekers from other countries because of Title 42. A COVID public health policy that the Biden administration has been under pressure to end. 尽管美国接收难民工作进展牛步，不过美国也斥资十亿美元巨资援助接收乌克兰难民的欧洲伙伴。I should start looking for a job just to feed my kids and myself. Uh, I don't know. You're not ready to build a life outside of Ukraine.、Uh, we are not ready because we left all our life、uh, there in Ukraine. 到不了的地方叫远方，回不去的地方叫故乡。